everyone using Instagram, people are less and less knowledgeable about the awesome paintings that are in the Louvre. So I wanted to like shine a light on the awesome art that is in this wonderful place in Paris. In 2009, I was approached by Oprah Winfrey to be a part of a program she was doing called Innovators. And during this documentary, I wrote a song called Mona Lisa Smile. Everyone loved the song and was asking me if I was ever gonna shoot a traditional video for it. I got around to it and called my friend Pasha, who I collaborate with all the time. When Will first approached me and my partner Eric about this project, we instantly realized this is a very exciting opportunity for us because we both share the same background in classic arts. During the formal uh, art education, you sometimes need to copy the classical painting. This way, you gain much better understanding of the art piece. Working on this project, I felt the same way, like I'm back in school. We took all the paintings from the Louvre and reimagined them. And what better um, partner to released this video but the Louvre itself. We were terrified because of the responsibility this project carries with it. The fact we're using these iconic masterpieces which have taken so important place in our culture would require us to do it with incredible respect and understanding of each artist. To understand or to be with an artist at that moment, at that time, and to understand where he was, like envisioning all 360 degree around you in order to be able to guess why he would choose that angle that day, how the sunlight worked for that character, with that props, with that costume, with that colors. I think that was the biggest challenge. And all the fellas they be looking, 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 they looking at my Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. I wrote the song from the perspective of a jealous boyfriend who was jealous that Mona Lisa was being painted um, and someone else was capturing her beauty. With our director on the set, Mike Jorkovic, we got very lucky because he possessed unique talent to direct people and his challenge was to capture the tone and mood of each particular painting. Let me tell you about my baby, my baby Mona Lisa. So what's really exciting about working with artists like Will is that he constantly trying to bridge different areas of human culture like art and technology or in this particular instance merry hip-hop and renaissance art. There was an artist by the name of KRS One from a group Boogie Down Production and he had this album called Edutainment. Songs that are on that album educated me more than school did. I wanted to educate you know a demographic that probably doesn't know what's up with the art renaissance because in their schools there they have limited funds for art education. Working with my partner Eric was a lot of fun. Sometimes we would face very interesting challenges where something looked like it doesn't belong in classic painting and he would say let's just paint this element and, and then use technology to blend it in and uh, we, we end up developing a lot of tools like that to basically make it look genuine. Coming to Paris and visiting Louvre is an amazing experience. We try to convey that feeling in our video. Being in Louvre always feels very warm. Uh, this is why we decided to use the iconic red room for, as, a, as a main set for our video. Sometimes you wish to walk around a loop in the empty rooms without thousands of tourists being one-on-one -on -one with the painting. Louvre is a very special place for everyone, but it's a mecca for anyone who has anything to do with visual arts or design. And to be invited here to share a humble contribution in the form of the video we did with Will I Am is just out of this world, surreal honor. Our Argus, um, Eric did the passion, did an incredible job. Doing this event with the Louvre means so much because it was an idea and now it's a reality. I never would have thought that I would be releasing the video with the Louvre in Paris. I never would have thought that I would be able to film this documentary through the corridors of the Louvre and my mom would be there with me. I never would have thought the Louvre would work with me on this project, Mona Lisa Smiles. So I'm happy to collaborate with the Louvre. I'm happy that um, Oprah Winfrey pushed me to write this song, Mona Lisa Smiles. And I'm really happy with the work Pasha and I did. So I thank you guys so much. This event's gonna be amazing. And the painting is beautiful.